Welcome back to the Championship Gaming Series in Los Angeles, live and exclusively on DirecTV, and brought to you by Mountain Dew. These aren't just games, and this isn't just soda. Do the do. Dell XPS, designed for performance. Xbox 360, the leader in high-definition gaming. And IGN.com, the number one online provider of video game, entertainment, and lifestyle content. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Championship Gaming Series. The first time ever live on DirecTV. Let's take a look at the North American CGS League standings. There we are. And uh, let's have a look at the uh, commissioner's box with uh, Mr. Andy Reef, the commissioner. He has the Chicago Chimera in the box this evening. And uh, congratulations to them. They uh, had their six and one at the top of the scoreboard as well. And there we go, the main scoreboard in this particular game, 3D versus complexity, 3D New York leading by six to two. Now let's open up the next event with Farouk. Live in the Xbox Arena, it's time for Project Gotham Racing 3. Racing for New York 3D. They've only become faster with age. It's the time-tested veterans, Chris Badax Bjorkman and Barry Double B Brady. And putting rubber to the road for LA Complexity, it's two young outlaws who have both been busted for street racing. Javier Chavezan Gutierrez and CJ GTO Nelson. Project Gotham Racing 3 is a premier racing game where drivers jockey for position at blistering speeds through a variety of courses around the globe. In the CGS, every match is a four-car race between two drivers from each team. Team strategy is key. The drivers win five points for first place, three points for second, and one for third. New York, are you ready? LA, are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! And we are underway in the Project Gotham Racing. The players go for the controllers and immediately away through into the lead goes the red car of Bad Axe down to turn one. Oh, he's going to be spun out. He spun out completely at turn one. And the benefactor of that one was Jamison from LA. He's in the blue car and he has taken the lead right now. The Green car, uh, green car you saw there, well there's the red car actually, that's Bad Axe who's currently down in, I think that was probably third place there, it's hard to tell right now, but as we cycle through, there's the yellow vehicle of Double B, and he's almost definitely in second place, Bad Axe led him, well actually that was a bit of teamwork right there for Timothy, because he actually got let through by his teammate there. Yeah, Bad Axe is actually the front runner for this team, for 3D, uh, Barry's job is to kind of assist him and help him get in first place and take the victory. Absolutely right. So, just to remind you of the colours, red, bad axe, yellow is double B, they're both for New York, green is GTO and blue is Chavisan. As these drivers pile through the Nürburgring, lap one, very, very testing Formula One circuit. This is indeed a bad axe right now. He's hunting down Chavisan, who is in the lead. He was let through, you saw him there in second place in the red car. They're down towards the... Vidal Chicane, they'll make the hop across the chicane. Don't get too worried if that's the first time you've seen it. That's exactly what they're planning to do. Javisan running very wide, though, in the last turn, and that'll give Badax a real chance here to catch him down that pitch straight. They finish the first lap. Here comes Badax. The gap is 1.4 seconds. There is really nothing in it right now, and Badax really has got the pedal to the floor. Javisan leads. Bad Axe in second place, Double B in third right now, and GTO, who somehow got knocked out right at the start of the race in the green server, is in fourth place. Another running wide there was Chavisan just ahead. We're back with Double B's in third place right now. Looks reasonably com uh, comfortable as well. So we'll have to wait and see. They're all in the same shot though, so it's still anyone's race. Halfway round, we come down towards the Saxe curve. Exactly halfway round the second 
of two laps and still Badax hunting Javison down. They'll come down into Saxcove. It's not an overtaking area, but Badax will make up another bit of ground. This one's going to be very, very close indeed. Turns 10 and 11, a left-hander, a right-hander, flat out, 170 miles an hour, fifth gear, screaming down to the Vidal chicane yet again. They've got another left and another right to come before that, and again, Chavisan runs a little bit wide, and Badax makes up a little bit more ground. Another run wide on the exit of turn 11 as well, and through the kink, they'll go flat out through here, 175, down to the final chicane. I'm not sure if Badax can do this. It's going to take something very special indeed. But Javison makes a little mistake on the exit. Badax is still right behind him. Drifts out wide. It's going to be Javison, though. Javison all the way down the pit straight. And L.A. Javison wins the PGR from Badax in second. We're going to fight for third, though. Oh, they've been scrubbing all over the place on the pit straight. And Double B has just about held on to third place as well. Here we go then, let's take another look at the start of the race where Badax lost this one fatality. Yeah, ba he, you can see Badax out too far left. He, you know, Chavison was way too close to him, was able to knock him out. And the lead was taken by the winner and Chavison won the race. Yep, absolutely, through he goes on the inside, you'll see him. He tries the outside as well and then realizes that down into turn one, he's got the perfect opportunity just to nudge his, uh, nudge his opponent out. And that's exactly what he does. You see Badax spinning around. And that is it, Chavison takes it for LA Complexity. Let's take you through the finishing order. First place for Chavison from LA, five points for him. Banax and Double B in second and third. They've kind of, well, they've dented the gap a little bit because they picked up four, but GTO in a sad fourth place. Five points for LA then, and four for New York 3D. So let's have a look at the overall scores on the massive scoreboard here in CGS Arena. 10-7, that gap narrowed by another point. LA down by three. In every sport, there are rivalries. Rivalries make these sports interesting. The biggest rivalry in gaming has been the one between Complexity and Team 3D in the game Counter-Strike. These titans have clashed 31 times to date, with 3D holding an edge of 17 to 14. Tonight, these two rivals meet again. Los Angeles is a lot different from where we're from, and since we're new here, we just really want to get out and experience what, you know, LA is all about. Obviously gaming, you're sitting inside playing on the computer, but here, you know, you really have to embrace the lifestyle. We've been going out there surfing, uh, eating at famous places, just trying to embrace the culture here, because it will be our new home, and uh, we love every bit so far. We're one of the best Counter-Strike teams in the world, and LA is one of the best cities in the world, so it really is just a perfect fit for us. So you've met Complexity, now arch-rival 3D is chomping at the bit for another classic Counter-Strike match when we return.